Good evening and thanks for joining us. We now know the names of the guard members killed in Thursday's helicopter crash near Kimball. And today we learn more about each one of them. Jennifer Austin is at the Army Aviation Support Facility in St. Cloud and joins us live. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Chris. Understandably, a very tough last 48 hours here. All of the soldiers killed were very young. Two were 28, one was 30. They were all part of a unit which had just returned home from a deployment to the Middle East in May. The man on the left in this photo is Chief Warrant Officer 2 Charles Nord. He was 30 years old and a graduate of Purim High School. He leaves behind his wife, two-year-old daughter, and another child who is due to be born this winter. In the middle is Sergeant Court Plantenberg of Avon, Minnesota. He was 28 years old. His friends in the unit say he was into fitness and a member of the Minnesota National Guard biathlon team. And then there's Chief Warrant Officer 2 James Rogers Jr. He was also 28. He's a graduate of St. James High School and his friends say he had a good sense of humor. We spoke to some members of their unit today about the loss. Extremely hard, sad. Um, we're all grieving together. Um, the aviation community is a family, so um, we'll, we'll get through it together, but there's going to be some long days, long weeks, months, um, years ahead without them. Um, but we'll continue to honor them, and, and when we're ready, we'll, we'll start flying again, and, and we'll do it in honor of them. You know, just a, a, nothing beyond just incredible soldiers, really incredible um, potential, and just a tremendous loss to our organization to the Minnesota National Guard, and, and of course, our, my deepest sympathy goes out toward their families. It'll be some time before we learn why the helicopter went down. Today, the National Guard said they won't put a timeline on that investigation. They said that the helicopter uh, was undergoing some routine maintenance, a routine maintenance test flight at the time of the crash, but they couldn't say today what that testing being done was. They did say, however, an Army investigators from Fort Rucker are now on the scene of this crash. Chris? Yeah, I know it's such a tight knit community up there at the guard, especially with the pilots of those choppers. It's such a sad story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jennifer.